Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time joining me, my name is May. I am a lawyer, an entrepreneur, and a lover of social media. And if you are a longtime member of my community, thank you again so much for coming back to join me today. I really appreciate all of you guys so, so much, which by the way, we recently reached 10,000 followers on Instagram. So I just have to say a huge thank you again. I am doing a really big giveaway, so stay tuned for that. So thank you guys again so much for all your support. Okay, today we're going to talk about my updated planning routine, which is, um, it's changed a lot, you guys. Things are definitely different. And the thing you're probably noticing right off the bat is that my iPhone is sitting here in this planner stack as well. And that's because I am using a digital calendar. And I know that's probably like really blasphemous and scandalous to say um, in this planner community, but I am a firm believer, first of all, that digital and paper products can work um, very well together. I do have a video um, that I'll link down below for you guys talking about how I use my iPhone. And at the time I was using my Louis Vuitton monogram mat. Also, I just believe that we have to use whatever works and um, to not be afraid to be flexible in our systems and um, just, yeah, to really be flexible. I think that's the biggest thing I wanna say. I also did a video on planner piece and I think that that's something that I talked about a lot, um, that we have to be willing to kind of try new things. So right now in this season of my life, I'm just so incredibly busy and overwhelmed that um, it was necessary for me to move some of my planning digital. So I'm gonna walk you guys through all of that. Um, and let's start with my iPhone. So I'm using just a regular um, Google Calendar. It's associated with my Gmail account. Um, my primary reason for switching to that was because um, I am working on a gigantically huge new consulting project. I am in LA right now um, and I'm loving it. I'm so, so happy. But um, that project, I need to be able to like make my calendar available to other people. And honestly, there just there's so many like things during the day that I need to schedule. There just wasn't room in any of these like traditional type planners, even A5, for me to keep track of all that. I'm not a huge fan of day per page, and I just didn't want to be lugging around a day per page like in, in my planner. Um, and I like to keep everything with me, so I wanted to have the whole year, but it just wasn't practical, you know, to have one page for every day. It just, it was too much. Honestly, you guys, it was just too much. Um, meetings are being moved around a lot and so I was like writing them in my planner but then I would need to move it then I was stressing myself out because I was like I don't want to mark out on my pretty planner am I gonna put a sticker over it just too much you guys and I think honestly a lot of it was just um, an extension of kind of the overwhelm I've been feeling with the planner community um, I love being a part of the planner community but everything was becoming too much for me. That's a lot of the reason why um, I wanted to design my own stickers and kind of do my own thing because I wanted things to be exactly how I wanted them to be. So anyway, I'm just using this regular calendar. It syncs with my phone. I have it on a day where I don't have anything in there because a lot of the stuff um, is you know, obviously confidential. So there's a lot of things I can't show you guys, but I like this system. It's my entire month at a glance up here. And then whatever day is highlighted, it has all my appointments down here. I'm able to break up my calendar into a personal and a work and they have two different colors, but it still shows up in the colors here. So it's really perfect. I'm really, really happy using this digital um, calendar for just my everyday appointments. And also sometimes I am out and about and I don't have everything else with me. So um, all I have is my phone. So it's nice for me to have my schedule um, on my phone. All right, now you guys know that there's no way that I could totally go 100% digital. I am definitely a paper girl. I love pretty paper and stickers and planners. I have loved planners for as long as I can remember. Honestly, you guys, really, I have loved them. So, of course, I'm still using a paper planner. I don't think I could ever give that up. Um, but I wanted to make my paper planner more of like a memory keeper, um, so I do still use this sometimes for 
um, planning, especially forward planning. I like to do that in here, like marking out trips and things like that. I'll show you guys some of that. This planner is just from Target. It's a blue sky planner. It feels, I mean, it's not leather, but it feels like leather. It's just this kind of like neutral um, ivory color. It has a gold embossed 2016. There's also gold on the edges of the pages, which I absolutely love. I think that's so beautiful. I just used two clips. One of them takes me to my current week, and then this one takes me to the note pages in the back. I've been wanting to work on my morning routine and like a weekly routine, so I know that on Mondays, for example, I'm gonna work out or something like that. So um, those pages in the back are just kind of, once I get that finalized, I wanna put those in the back. Basically, I want this book to um, really capture and memorialize everything that 2016 um, ends up becoming for me. So I think it's really fun to have one book that has everything in it that I can go back and look at. Um, I really like these pages. Let me show you guys. They're just, it's a really clean layout. It is a um, week on two pages horizontal, which I was really starting to dig the vertical layout, but it's okay, the horizontal is fine too. The weekend shares one space, so that's not ideal. Um, and each space is lined, but in general, it's good. It's working for me. Um, I am putting everything in here. Sometimes I'm putting appointments. Sometimes I'm using it as kind of like a dear diary. Um, sometimes I'm just kind of literally writing down everything that I did. So, you know, just anything that I feel like I want to keep track of. Um, so I'm sorry I can't show you my pages. Some of them are really pretty. Um, you know, I am using stickers. Some of them are not. Some of them are just literally scribbles and I've been learning to be okay with that. But I will show you guys, um, like a monthly view. So let me show you guys March, um, and this is actually how I pre-plan. I just put one sticky note uh, for the month, and I'll just write the date and what um, the event is. I don't put a lot of details in there, but if it's something that I'm not sure kind of how it's going to fit in my schedule or if I am doing it, or not, um, then I will put it on this sticky note. And it's worked really well for me. I've used this system for a long time. Um, but if it is something that I'm 100% positive about, if it's a trip I need to take or somebody's wedding or something like that, I'll just go ahead and write it into these monthly pages. Um, I do still really love pretty planning, as I've said. So I am using stickers. Um, but honestly, you guys, I'm just using my own stickers. Um, if you guys love these designs too, I do have them available for purchase um, in my shop. And I just really like them. I mean, honestly, I wasn't finding stickers that I loved. So um, I'm just using all of mine. But again, really um, minimal and clean and chic. So I just put like one of these best day ever. Uh, in th this square that like was for you know, this is still February So there wasn't anything that I would write in there and then this little coffee cup So um, if you guys want more information on my stickers, there's a whole video where I explain them and I'll link that down below um, but even my pretty planning is still really minimal so I will use stickers here or there, some different colored pens, things like that. Again, this is a memory keeper for me, so I want um, to use this for the entire year. Like, I really am trying to commit um, to use this the entire year. And again, just to jot different things down. So um, hopefully I can look back and kind of have this as like a yearbook. So um, anyway, so that's what I'm using this as. And I try to spend just like a few minutes every night or every other night filling this in. I forgot to mention, I'm using the iPhone 6 Plus in gold. I really, really love this phone and I think it is an essential for any business owner. Like, I don't know what I would do without this big of a screen. I know some people think it's way too big and sometimes my friends like joke with me about it, but I love it. Right now I don't have a cover on it. Um, I'm pretty careful with my phone. I'm trying not to say that I'm like super careful with it because then I'll like drop it or something. But sometimes I just like using it without a cover. But I do have one case that I absolutely love for this phone. Um, and I've showed it to you guys on Instagram. So I will, um, and so many people have been asking me about it. So I'm going to film a video on it um, to kind of just show you guys the case that um, I love and that I occasionally will um, use. So that video will be out soon, so just keep an eye out for that. All right, now the thing that I'm sure you guys are the most excited about, and this is my Louis Vuitton desk agenda. 
If you guys have been following me for a while, you know that probably about six months ago, I bought the this desk agenda in the um, Damier Graffite, which is the black and gray checkerboard pattern. Um, I have a couple of videos on that, so I will link those down below for you to check out. I ended up deciding to return it. I was not a fan. I wasn't sure what I wanted. Um, I ended up getting a GM. I gave that away as a gift. Um, I have tried everything. I got this desk agenda and I'm finally happy with how I'm using this and with my desk agenda. And I think that um, as of now, I can say that I prefer the desk agenda to the GM. But it's still a struggle for me. I still do not know. I've always been a um, spiral bound planner girl. So I, that's why I originally thought that this desk agenda would be the one for me. Um, I'm not usually someone who likes the rings. But I don't know you guys. I changed my mind so much. But for right now, desk agenda is the way to go for me. I'm going to show you guys my setup and how I'm using this. Okay, so when you open it up, all I have in here is one notebook. And I am using this basically as kind of like a bullet journal slash just write it all down notebook. This notebook I got from Target. I'm going to explain the whole thing to you guys because finding something to fit in this desk agenda has been a hassle for me. And people always ask me what notebooks I recommend. And the only thing I can tell you guys is to just take your desk agenda, go to places like Target, Staples, and just start taking notebooks and putting them in and seeing if they fit in your desk agenda. Because I don't know if you guys, if it's been like okay for you guys, if you have one, um, let me know. But for me, it's just been a pain. So I'm gonna explain this notebook to you guys. I, of course, had to modify it. So on this side, I just keep a um, to-do list pad and some sticky notes. And then let me show you guys. This is um, just one of these notebooks. That's me and my mom. Isn't that so cute? Um, this is just one of those um, pockets for the Midori Traveler's notebook. And I like it because it fits into the pocket of this desk agenda and I can keep random things in here. So um, this zipper pocket, just I just keep my stickers. And let me show you guys, I'm using just some of my stickers and then I love these craft paper hearts. I think I got these from Paper Source, but I bet you can find these anywhere. So I love those. These are just some of my stickers that I really, really love. This is one of my favorites that I think I've showed you guys before. It's a nail polish bottle and it says lunch meeting. Things like GSD, which if you guys don't know what that stands for, I will tell you. Um, this coffee cup that says, but first, um, an iPhone, blah, blah, blah. This is an envelope for do. This um, little flamingo is saying nailed it. These file folders, get it done. Appointments for getting your hair did. So anyway, these are just some of my sticker designs. I love them. Um, if you're interested in them, I will link my shop down below. And I actually do have a couple new sets that are being released. So uh, make sure you check that out. Even if you have my other sets, um, check it out because I think you guys are going to like these new stickers. And then, oh, I have to show you guys this too. This little polka dotted to go coffee cup and it says you can do it. Because with coffee, you can do anything, right? <laughs> and then just some more sticky notes here. These are just small square um, in different neon colors. And then I have to show you guys this. I am obsessed with this note card. This was sent to me by Ashley, who is cloth and paper. I love her shop. She has the most beautiful designs and she designs everything that I like envision in my head that I want. So isn't this beautiful? So anyway, I just keep this in here because I love it and I want to look at it. And then on the back side, I also do keep this little journaling card also from Ashley and it says BRB and on this side out of the office and I just love it. So I just put this in here so that when I open this up, I can see it over here. And then I just keep one of these gold skeleton clips. This is also from Ashley, a cloth and paper. Again, I just love everything that she does. So I just keep this in here and like on this side, I have a couple business cards that I need to kind of follow up with. So I just keep those clipped. In here, I just keep um, some financial information. I have it covered up with this write it down um, notepad. I just have some glitter like cardstock in the back. 
And then on this side, this is just like a slip slip in pocket. So I just keep kind of the bigger pages of my stickers here. Um, and again, these are just different page flags that I designed. So this slips in right into this left pocket. Absolutely love that. And then my notebook on this side. Now this is a Mead um, notebook that I got from Target. It had a horribly ugly um, like flower 70s, like flower power cover, which I did not like. So I just cut it off and it had this like fabric thing here. I don't know, I had to rework it a little bit. So I cut it off and just kind of put some pretty paper and then I clipped it in with an Erin Condren coil clip that I cut in half. So basically I had to create this entire dashboard, but I'm really loving it. This pink um, skeleton clip is again from Ashley Cloth and Paper. I'm obsessed with these clips, I love them. Um, it's just pink, it's like so pretty. And then I use this dashboard for a variety of different things, but most of the time I just keep my like to-do lists or even just like smaller planning scheduling things. So my biggest complaint with going all digital is that I can't um, write lists like this. You know, there's just no place for me to put this. Um, I guess I could put it in the notes section, but that's not really my thing. So um, I do still need paper to write things down. So I'm trying to go through my entire paper stash. I really want to use everything that I have. So even though this is beautiful paper. Um, I'm still using it for just my weekend um, to-do list. And then this notebook is pretty simple. It has two sections. So I clipped this first um, divider that has these pockets. I clipped it to my dashboard to the front just to secure the dashboard a little bit. Um, there is a pocket on the front of this divider, but I'm just using the one back here. And um, I use this first one for business. So this first section is for business. And I can't show you guys the notes that I put in here, but really I would just keep, um, I keep my notes bullet journal style, which I know I've promised you guys I'm gonna do an updated bullet journal video. Um, the issue is just that because so many of the things that I have are private and confidential, um, I'm not really, I'm still trying to figure out how to show you guys. I'm not really sure how to do that. So um, I keep one of these happy note things in here and this just has some of my temporary passwords. Um, so I wanted to show you guys, obviously this isn't the one that's filled out, but I do keep this right here for easy access and then just like various note pages. And then this section is for my personal. So I, I just have this kind of covering up some notes and things that I put in here, but um, I just keep everything in here, sticker ideas, YouTube ideas, um, things I need to work on, uh, packing lists, like doesn't matter, just random things. Sometimes I do put to-do lists over here, again, in bullet journal style. Um, I will just kind of write the date and then make a list of things that I need to do. And then I have a bullet journal key. I showed a little bit of my bullet journal in my um, original 2016 planner set up. So um, if you guys wanna check that video out, I'll have that link down below and that kind of shows you a little bit of how I do things. So anyway, that is really it. So again, this agenda is not um, super thick. You guys can see from the top that it's rather thin actually. Oh, let me show you guys my pen. So my pen is just this very fine, it's like ultra probably 0.3. Um, and this is again from Ashley at Cloth and Paper. Love her store. So that's it, you guys. My updated system, it again has changed a lot as you guys can see, but for this season of my life, this is working really well. And honestly, just knowing the projects and um, things that I have coming up, I think this is a system that I'm gonna be sticking with for a while. So um, I think it's a pretty good mix of digital and still appreciating my love of paper products and stickers and things like that and pretty pens, but um, still kind of being flexible with um, my lifestyle and the season that I'm in right now. So let me know what you guys think. I'm like, I'm sure some people are gonna be like, I can't believe you went digital. So let me know if you guys are secretly using a digital planner as well. Um, but seriously, I do wanna know what you guys are using. So if you share any pictures on Instagram, um, please be sure to tag me and head over to my Instagram and uh, make sure you're following me. I am at Maybad there and um, everywhere else on the internet. So um, make sure you're following me there and show me your setups. I'd love to see them. So um, whether it's on Instagram or YouTube, be sure and let me know because I would really love to know what you guys are using. So if you did enjoy this video and you like my setup, then please give this video a like and make sure that you're subscribed to my channel 
I appreciate your support in that way so much. We are getting really close to 20,000 subscribers here on YouTube, which for a girl who just does this for fun um, is really, I think, amazing and just means the world to me that um, so many of you guys want to share in this journey with me. So thank you guys for your support. Please be sure to subscribe um, if you haven't already. And I will talk to you guys soon. I hope you're doing really well. Thanks again for watching. Bye.